Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin if we have not met before. I make videos here on my channel all about my pregnancy journey and also my husband and my life here in Florida. So if that's something you are interested in seeing more of, definitely remember to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Today I have decided I'm actually going to do things. I am almost 21 weeks pregnant. This past week has been a total dumpster fire. I just have been super emotional. Last night I cried over not being able to get the TV to work properly and then I cried even harder when Austin got it to work immediately when he came home. So it was one of those days yesterday and there's just a lot I wanted to get done this week. So today I'm doing it. I'm going to do it all. I need to film my first trimester update video. I need to go get a passport photo taken, which I don't know why seems like it's a really big chore, but I know it's not. Like I just have to go and say, hey, I need a passport photo taken and then they do it and they give it to you and that's it. But I don't know, maybe it's the pandemic and since I'm always home by myself, I work from home. I feel like whenever I have to leave the house and interact with another human, it feels like a really big chore. And I also got a big shipment from Ikea and I'm going to continue working on my little crafting corner. And I've already filmed some footage of me really going through all of my arts and crafts and figuring out where they're gonna go in these shelves that I got. And I got some more shelf inserts. So hopefully I can finish that up today and this weekend. That's really all I have to do today. I know that's not even a lot, but it needs to be done. And this past week, I've just not felt great. Spent a lot of time planning a baby shower. So I think the plan and this weekend, Austin and I are gonna go scope out some places, but I think we're gonna have the baby shower in May because the baby's due July 10th. And we think by that time, people are gonna have more access to the vaccine. So we're thinking we'll be able to have an actual baby shower because the thought of doing a virtual baby shower, I don't know, just sounds awful. So I think we're gonna have it out on a pavilion on the beach. We used to have birthday parties out by the beach all the time and it's really nice you can rent like a pavilion. It can be outside and people can be on the beach and in the pavilion and be a little more socially distanced. So I think that's going to be a good happy medium. So I've been planning that and also figuring out the baby registry. If you saw one of my most recent videos, I put up a video all about some baby gear hand-me-downs that I got for my sister-in-law and and she's actually dropped off some more things uh, at Austin's parents' house that we need to go pick up this weekend. We'll probably go by there after we're done scoping out some pavilions down by the beach because they live pretty close to the beach. So that's on the agenda for this weekend, which I'm really excited about. But today, first things first, I'm gonna get my passport photo taken and I think I'm going to reward myself maybe with a frappuccino from Starbucks after. I'm like a dog. If you give me a treat after, I'll, I'll go do it. So I think that's the plan. Also, if you've been tracking my skin like I have, you probably haven't. But if you know my last few videos, I've had like these huge zits like right here. I've been breaking out a ton and I think I'm finally over it. I still have all these tiny little bumps, which you probably can't see because I'm wearing makeup, but see, I still get these tiny, and I usually don't break out like that. So pregnancy is still wreaking havoc on my skin, but not as bad as it was. But enough about my zits, let's go take a passport photo. Walgreens does passport photos, right? I think so. Okay, so I haven't looked at them yet. Passport photos are always so awkward because you like don't smile. It looks blurry to me. Whatever, hopefully this works. He like cut my hair all weird. <laughs> I hope it works. Austin and I aren't actually trying to travel anytime soon. The next trip we have planned out of the country isn't until next year in August when we finally go on our honeymoon, hopefully. <laughs> I've been slowly changing my last name over to his last name. So I've changed my maiden name to my middle name and then I take an Austin's last name. And once I have my passport, then I can go, apparently it's easier to change it on your driver's license, but I need to get it renewed anyways, because the last time I got my passport photo taken was when I was like 14 or 15. So it's expired either this year or next year anyways. So I needed to do this. Now, time for a sweet little treat. Mm. Oh, so good. Passport photo, check. Sugary beverage, check. And I like this one up online, Grande Caramel Frappuccino from Starbucks. It said it's less than 100 milligrams, so 
we're good on the caffeine front. But this is my drink that I like to get now when it's hot outside. So I get a caramel frappuccino made with soy milk. Wait, did I say that right? Whoa, my brain just went blank. <laughs> caramel frappuccino made with soy milk and no whip. That's what I like to get. And then for my hot drink that I like to get, cafe mocha made with almond milk and no whip. Those are my drinks. And if you're wondering what I'm checking off, this is just my little bullet journal planner that I use. I've tried so many other ways of planning in the past. The thing that works best for me is honestly just writing everything down, then also using a combination of this, and then also I use my Google Calendar a lot. So I know a lot of people in their bullet journals, they'll do like a whole monthly spread with their events like in a calendar spread. I don't do that. I think it's kind of redundant if you use a calendar on your computer also. And I like to have that on my phone. So when I'm out and about and I'm, you know, at the dentist and making a new appointment, I can just put it in my phone really quick and I don't have to like, I don't really carry this around with me, you know what I mean? But I do a big old weekly spread with everything I wanna do for the week. Meals, dates, slash events, and then I have like my personal house, work, and future list. And I like to just list everything out because I'm one of those people where, especially at night when I'm trying to go to sleep, if I have all of these things and thoughts in my head, if I don't write them down on paper, I will go crazy and I will just stay up thinking about it. And if you ever want me to do a video on how I plan out my week and everything, definitely let me know in the comments because I would love to show you guys my bullet journal. It's honestly pretty minimal. And then, you know, I just like to have little notes, pages and things like that. So now I'm actually going to plan out my video that I want to film because I want to film a first trimester in review video for you guys. Sorry, my camera totally did something weird there. So I wanna make a first trimester and review video for you guys and uh, talk about my symptoms, what helped me, how to survive your first trimester basically. Yeah, see I have my how I knew I was pregnant notes and then I put this here and then I just never did it because I've been putting off this video. I'm already over halfway through my pregnancy and I haven't made my first trimester video yet. So I need to do it. I will link the notebook below and also the pens that I like to use if you're curious and you wanna start bullet journaling also. And like I said, let me know if you wanna see a dedicated bullet journaling video. I would love to do that for you guys. All done with that. I think it's time to clean up and finally figure out my little crafting corner in the garage. Okay, so I've got my big old box from Ikea here. Gotta open it up. I can't even really remember what I ordered, but as you can see, there are a lot of empty cubes going on. Austin said he would put those drawers in for me soon because there's a couple that have drawers in it, but I really like this unit, the Ikea Kallax shelves or bookshelves, I'm pretty sure they're called because they have a lot of cubes and inserts that they have that go specifically in these. So note to self, don't talk with scissors in your hands because you will throw them and probably impale yourself. Also, I changed my shirt for the video and I'm gonna just keep it on because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to wear this shirt much longer once my belly gets really, really big. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. package that I'm assuming is a gift because I did not order this but it has my name on it is it like a shark <gasps> I gotta do some sleuthing and figure out who sent this to me so I can thank them I actually wasn't gonna buy any like baby towels or like cute things like this because I was like ah, eh, they're so extra like adorable but 
Like how often are you gonna use it? Oh my God, this is so cute. I'm gonna use this every day with little Bubba Boo. You like it? She likes it. I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello to Mona I mistook you for a dream The engine glows Okay, so as you can see by the outfit changes, this vlog has definitely been filmed over a few different days just as I'm getting that little crafting corner of the garage together. If you're wondering where I am right now, this is actually where I sit and teach my online ESL classes. But I wanna go ahead and go into the garage and show you guys just a little tour of what we ended up with with the craft corner. Okay, so here it is. This is what we ended up with. So over here, we just have some flat items, my old portfolio and some old artwork, my big cutting board. In here is just a bunch of yarn. And I actually have yarn in here as well. I think I'm gonna move it all in here. And then up here is just sewing things. And I have my sewing machine here. And then in here is just like pencils and drawing tools. This is totally empty as of right now. And if you're wondering, all of this is from Ikea, like literally every single piece is from Ikea, except some like the tools, but the actual storage is all from Ikea. The shelves, the cubes, the drawers, this, 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 it's all from Ikea. Even these little decorative things. So here we just have flat things like paper, some felt. Here we have a bunch of ribbons, gift tags, my little paper cutter. And then here we have sewing machine supplies, adhesive. So there's a bunch of tape and glue in here and then some random crafting tools. And then here we have Christmas wrapping. I do a lot of zero waste Christmas wrapping. So I have a lot of my bags and fabric wrapping in there. And I've just used my label maker to print out some labels just while I'm getting used to where everything is. And I love these because for these odd shelves where I have some oddly shaped things, I can have this up here so I'm utilizing all the space because if I didn't have this little shelf, which of course from Ikea, it's made specifically for these Ikea Kallax shelves, um, it's great because now I can utilize the whole space of the cube. So there's just some random sketchbooks. This is my laminator, more sketchbooks. These are all of my paint brushes. Down here, we just have some random, some old art supplies from art school that I don't really use anymore. Some uh, pottery tools, just some random things. I have some printmaking tools and charcoal and things like that. Random fabric that I have. A lot of this is left over from my wedding, like this cheesecloth. Up here, we have all of my acrylic paints. These drawers are great because they fit right in the unit. Um, there's some watercolors, some random glitter, and I just stuck my label maker in there. So there's a lot of room to grow still in here, which is nice. Scrapbooking, oh my gosh, a lot of this is really old. All these are books that I made in a bookmaking class that I took that was actually really cool. This is a bunch of random stuff left over from our wedding. So some really nice ribbons, some little sign holders, random things like that. I've labeled it events. Down here, I just have some random, I have a random vase and uh, just like empty pencil bags. So this is kind of a random thing. Um, and then here I have painting, like drop cloths, tarps, painting shirt, stuff like that. And then on this side, I just have a lot of drawing paper pads and some chalkboards that I have that we had from our wedding and some other flat things that just kind of go over here for now. And I don't really know where I'm gonna put my easel yet. Still figuring that out. And there you go. So this is where it's at right now. I'm really happy with it. We still need to, I'm going to build a table with my dad. Something that I keep telling Austin is that I wanna get more familiar with 
using power tools and then he very firmly told me that he does not want me using power tools while I am pregnant, which is probably a good idea. In the future, I do want to become, like I can use a drill, I can use a hammer, like simple things like that. But I want to learn how to use a table saw. I want to learn how to, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of things that I want to DIY and I would love to be able to do those things myself with a little bit of help, but I feel like I'm always going to my dad and I'm like, build me this. And he's like, Ugh, okay. So I want to become just a little more capable. So I want to help my dad build a nice counter height work table for in here. And then I might house some things on the actual table. Like I have my Cricut and my sewing machine. I might house some things there. I think counter height will be good because I can work on it standing. And then I can also have some counter height stools to use when I'm out here. I'm just really excited to have a space where I don't have to take over the entire dining room table whenever I want to do anything crafty. You guys know our layout. Everything is kind of in that one room, like the dining room and the kitchen and the living room is all one space. So when one of those places is messy, the whole house looks really messy. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely subscribe if you want to see where else this crafting corner goes. Cause like I said, we're definitely going to be building that table out. And in the next vlog, you should see us scoping out some pavilions on the beach for our baby shower and I'm going to be showing you guys some even more baby hand-me-downs that we have been getting so definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye for all in this I stand alone show